wealth, power, and sex. Our society today judges people by how wealthy they are, how sexy they are, or how much power they have. So if our society measures success by wealth, power, and sex, then you'll never be successful if you're human, because who wants to live for power? Who wants to live for wealth? Who wants to live only for sex? Is that why we're here? An orangutan lives for wealth, power, and sex. A gorilla lives for wealth, power, and sex. But we're human. And so wealth, power, and sex is something we have to get past. What do you live for? I'm happiest when I can actually say something successfully that's in my heart as a writer. Success is decided only by what you feel in your own heart and your relationship with God. Do you think they know if I'm good or bad? Do you think people who give me something didn't realize that I appreciate it or not? You know how many idiots get Oscars? But they get it because it seems like it's a nice thing or they have a meeting. People like to get together and give each other prizes. But success is whether you have achieved your purpose for being alive and whether in the end you're going to be able to say on your deathbed, I have done something that has advanced the cause of love among people. You worked a lot all over the world, in India with Mother Teresa and as well in different places in Africa. Yeah. Um, what inspired you to do so? I worked in Africa because <coughs> uh, they, uh, they asked me to write Shaka Zulu. And while I was there I learned a lot about Africa and we can identify ourselves as African. If you're in the sun a lot, your body changes a little bit to adapt to the environment, but we're all the same. So, and what did you get back? You learn a lot about yourself, about um, whether you really care about other people or whether you just say you care. I think what we have to start to do is not so much travel to the other end of the world, but to travel next door or to the people down the street. Love has become a cliché, but the depth of love is something where you really do care what happens to the other person. We go to places like Madonna, get 16 children from Mali or whatever we do. That's aristocratic. We give to other people. We say, look, I am such a great person. I'm going to give you some money or I'm going to give you some of my uh, food or whatever we do. We never understand what it's like to be hungry or to be poor or to be uh, uh, a refugee. We don't understand that. That's why we will never be able to deal with it. Love. Love. That's all. The beginning and the end of who we are is love, for yourself and for others.